Radiant Team Dire Ban. Team Ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Die. Radiant team ban. Dire team ban. That will not interrupt us anymore. Going to the draft, the bans so far. Uh, KP's there as well, of course, just in case. Uh, again, again, in case, again, you, if you guys missed it. Ten uh, seconds KP remaining. is standing for VGJ Storm this tournament. It is not Five a permanent seconds movement. Remaining. Don't worry, he will be going back to newbie. Radiant team ban. Uh, they got KP this, and he was uh, doing all right, I think. A decent game. Let's see what they can do today. Bands come through. DJ Storm taking away the bounty, the Shadow Demon, that E Home, the Tusk, Bane, and uh, the Omni Knight. It's understandable. Actually, the last game, the game we saw VTJ Storm on the channel, they played Tusk. And Lee was it was doing really good with it. Ten seconds he remaining. He was making some good, good Radiant play. team pick. First up. A VGJ Storm. One of the uh, strong supports that was left touched in the opening. Radiant Surprise. team pick. Oh, oh, Eom, one of those uh, Chinese teams that do love to grab the ogre first. With Newbie, in fact, at the major. There are some of these teams in China that are just the Magi every game. Remaining. Solo was ahead of his time. Five seconds remaining. VP. Well, he still does sometimes. Playing Ogre again, they will. Dire team pick. Razor. Razor. I mean, people are really favoring Razor. Well, some teams are really favoring. I, if for me, it's, I'm still yet to feel it, it being this incredibly OP pick. Ten seconds. Oh, it was banned a lot. The mate, we didn't get to see it. SKAA, the classic port combo of KP is indeed playing carry for uh, VGJ Storm. Ten seconds remaining. Five Correct. seconds yep. remaining. on the off lane. Ryo in the mid, and Stanking and Fleet are there. So. Oh, someone's going to have to shake my brains. What's uh, the captain of Ehome in English? My... Dire team ban. Of course it is. I knew, I knew it would be someone like that. Thank you. Thank you, FNG as well. You got my back. See, I can trust FNG. He has a green sword. All you other guys. Ten seconds remaining. Don't know if I can trust you. <laughs> CTY. Oh, yeah. Remaining. We've got some CTY going on. All right. Yeah, this tight. I'm down to watch some Incredible builds he comes. Here is Ryo. He is uh, number one on the NA leaderboard. That is a lot. I don't know what number he is on the Oh, Ryo is 747. Is it? Is Ryo 747? I'll believe you, Jack. Radiant team ban. I will believe. Oh, it's Eric Dong. 
Oh, sh**. Is Eric Dong, isn't it? The legitimate, genuine Dong. Ten seconds remaining. I just, I'm sorry. We, we, we was the Stone Spirit last game. Five just... seconds remaining. I mean, they may just play Stone Spirit again. Hey, hey, Carrot, unlikely. Double I don't think KP back. would be down for that. Maybe AA mid. Ten seconds remaining. Fans come through for me home. Faces forward and pick. BGJ Storm themselves are actually banning out the storm. And Medusa. Screw that here. We, are, we ain't down to watch any Medusa games. Dire this is a Medusa pick. free stream. Puck. Puck. Also really good with Razor. Dream Coil. Static link. That's beautiful. Ten Synergy. seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Are ready to reveal in terms of course. Probably expect to see Snake King Zero come out here. Get that off lane secured. What do they want to grab for set? We saw him play offlane DK earlier. I know some of you guys in chat might have, might have missed that, but they played offlane Dragon Knight, and it was actually pretty good. They won the game. Radiant team pick. The undying wakes. Undying. Almost certainly be that aggressive offlane hero, and we'll see how they land it. They'll probably send up both the both the undying and the SK at the start. I imagine they they want to run those two together. Ten seconds remaining. It'd be very nasty, sort of lane against it. Five seconds Dire remaining. Dire team pick. Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman. Good amounts of catch now. From E Home's lineup with the puck and the sh Again, another hero that can enable the razor very nicely in any sort of mid-game, mid-game fights. Having that set up. Ten seconds remaining. Well, the end. I feel like this. The, 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 the aggressive aim from VGJ remaining. Storm could do very well at the moment. We'll see. Fourth pick for VGJ Storm. We'll see uh, Stan, uh, sorry, Lee and KP's hero come through now at this stage. KP, what's he feeling like playing the carry? Well, we saw him play Weaver earlier today and uh, was pretty safe. This game a little less Easy, I feel, for, for you to straight up pick a weaver into. But, yeah, with that instant hex, follow-up silence, it's not, not the greatest. But uh, I wouldn't put it past them. I wouldn't be, uh, you know, they, they could certainly pick weaver again. VG Jason. 4 teams. I don't think we're going to see some Sir Action Slacks plays here. I don't know if we'll see the chance for 4 tombstones. Maybe, if we're lucky. More for KP, says Caps in the chat. Yep. Radiant More. team. And he saw those hard carries, always nice to think at the moment. And well, there, there's one of them. There's one of them. Terrorblade. Not your morphling, but similar sort of lines, is it? Having that super hard carry. I feel like this is, at the, the moment this matter, a lot of teams, you get... Like the Ten Morphlings and the, the Terror Blades can be just game winning. Five seconds and remaining. And Terror Blade this game, it's pretty nice. There isn't large amounts of physical. Sure, you've got the Razor. But uh, other than that, you have three heroes looking to burn. So, the, sure, the early stages are going to be difficult for Terror Blade. So, early stage, there is burst for the Terror Blade. But I don't think it's, an, it's sort of the burst. Uh, it's not enough burst that's going to scale to the point where, you know, once Terrible has a few stat items, he's going to be feeling pretty good about himself. Dire team ban. But uh, yeah, Terrible could get crushed at the beginning with the amount of early, the amount of early game burst that uh, Ehome have.
Death Profit. Final ban from E-Home. Uh, that's just a question of VGJ Storm remaining. if they think that that puck is mid or if they think it's off lane. Five seconds remaining. What do they want to do? Dire team pick. I think it's an offlane puck. Take the tinker out. I mean, if you, to be fair, if you're playing Terrorblade, you kind of have to back that hero. Definitely one of the best answers to any time you see a Terrorblade looking to play. Ten seconds remaining. Pick here for Storm. I need that mid hero for Raya. Five seconds. Remaining. Unless she's going to throw us off board, and it is going to be a mid AA. Unlikely. Radiant this isn't Navi. And there is your Eric Dong hero, your 747, your, your Raya, whatever you want to call him. Ember Spirit. There is, a, there is an instant hex in the game. And science and such could be Ten a little seconds annoying. Remaining. But it's one of those one of those calls you can have in the fight, and it's very hard Five for Razor to really remaining. directly do anything against. You know, you're not going to be standing there on the front necessarily all the time. You can break the gap with the remnants. But it's been a long time since I've seen uh, seen an Ember Spirit to be fair. We we don't we did we have any Ember at the major? I feel like we didn't. At least not in the games I casted. It's it's been a hero that has not been favoured at all by by the top teams. So that is yeah, a little bit of a surprise. But as I say, it's definitely something I've seen seven four seven play. But one of the heroes he's very confident on. Final pick for E Home. And I mean, if with that Tinker in mind, you know, E Home, if BGJ Storm were right, that E Home's still looking for their mid, so they can pick something. Go up against this ember and have a favorable time. They may have just done it there. They grabbed the OD for CTY. Our OD very, very good this game. TB. A little vulnerable to be blown, being blown up by the SKAA, but uh, I think sort of the core matchup here makes the, the OD very strong here. Yeah. Well, let's see how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. As always, thank you very much for joining the stream. Hop into the car. See players pick up their heroes. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, A. Smith, I see what you asked about the TB, but uh, actually, uh, yes, Saber Dota counts it pretty good. Yeah, once he gets the Ags online, it just makes it impossible. Well, not impossible, but very hard to push with the, uh, with the Tinker Illusion. And sure, yeah, you could argue that maybe you could use the Sunder uh, when you're being burst low, but uh, at the same time, if the Tinker's good, you know, OD, uh, sorry, terribly has got no sort of hold or catch. So a rearm blink will always get the Tinker away from a Terrorblade. Terrorblade cannot ever deal with the hero in a one-on-one -on -one unless, the, unless the Tinker massively messes up. And yeah, sure, you can eventually get a BKB. And that, we, we do see that happen. You know, it's not, it's not like it's impossible to win the game. It's just it's very hard. It's like you would always choose to, to take the Tinker out if you're playing the Terrorblade over a, the mid majority of other heroes kp mid no 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 no. kp's playing the tb safe then kp kp's standing in as the carry yeah kp's a strong carry yeah he, yeah he used to play it position in the past so uh you can i think you got you can look forward to seeing kp doing some big stuff on the tb why am i not advised that there's no i there is no english talent on site for mdm macau so this is considered the this is the place to watch the games they they're sort of, it's, it's, yeah, MDL's always very relaxed about English coverage, so basically they've asked me to do it through, through BTS, BTS has asked me, and, you know, there, there isn't any sort of funding, so, for the English coverage, so, I'm doing this for free, boys, so, subscribe, I'm, I'm doing this for the love of the Dota, I'm not real, I'm doing it for the tasty ab revenue, <laughs> I wish. But no, I'm doing this because uh, uh, God's offered me the game, said, you know, cast these games, get some views on your channels. I was like, sure. Uh, but no, they, they, don't, they don't 
cover English coverage. Chinese tournament. They sometimes they focus on the Chinese view, and as it's understandable. I mean, should this tournament, to be fair as well, isn't you know it's, it is interesting to the Western viewer, but it's not to the same extent as if you had all the big Western teams. You know what I mean? Like for the Western viewers, you're looking at what. Games. And uh, obviously, uh, we've got some uh, big guys from BTS as well. Gods and LD doing casting as well at the moment, I believe. I don't know who's casting at the moment over on the mainstream, but uh, do be sure to check it out. You've got the main Beyond the Summit stream. Uh, where they are doing whatever. They Was casting that one, but uh, for us, for now, on this channel, we have BGJ Storm versus Ehome. I'm Odie Pixel, and I will get yourself familiarized with the teams. BGJ Storm has snaking a sand king. This is so it is the core sand king. Uh, we have Fully uh, moving around on the Undying, KP the carry, Terra Blade, Rio, mid lane, and the spirit sand king. Or a, a over on e -hunt. Old Chicken. Here is one of my favorite names of a Chinese player. HYM Shadow Shaman. Why? Uh, also uh, is Innocence, right? Correct. I was. They they changed their name so many times. I think it's Innocent. Um, CTY. The battle begins. Yeah, that is OD. Finally, oh, basically, yeah. Stanking's not on Stanking, the say it's snaking. Just to clear things up, we've got three kings in the game. Stanking is on the. And actually, someone said KP mid, and we're like, no, KP, ca they're taking the Terra Blade mid. Uh, I mean, I don't. Why? Why would you put a Terra Blade against an Odin? I don't understand that. For the sure, the, the Ember's going to have a tough time. Screw the Ember. Make him suffer. Don't make your Terra Blade suffer. Um, I mean, I, well, I, these guys are professionals. They, they know what's up. But to me, this seems a bit weird. I don't know. Sure, I guess he's got Metamorphosis to farm. Oh, okay. All right. See how he does. So Ember's going to be top. And he's going to be against the uh, the ogre, the the puck. So it's not necessarily going to be an easy to name. So we'll see how well KP can do relying on the metamorphosis to get. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a terribly being taken mid in order to avoid the mid from being sacked that hard. Well, let's see how he does. See how he does. See, I'm not supposed to get into the town. Oh, I right. I'm ready for... Oh, he's got the back of the fleet. There we go. He's going to get some help. Oh, no. Mr. CS, come on. Come on, KP. Oh, no. You missed that one. Oh, he's going for harassment. Oh, he's getting that. Yeah. Interested to see how this Terra Blade mid, mid lane goes for uh, BGJ Storm. It's super too mid. He's got to rely on the Metamorphosis. Once that Metamorphosis is gone, he's going to have to hope for some heavy help from Fleet. Bottom lane, the, the last lane that we get to really look upon. It's 1v1, old chicken. Versus Snake. The old chicken should be fine here. Top, Rio. Let's get the lane under the tower. And guys there to guarantee the CS. Looking to the sit mid. Bully the OD. Top. Balls being made as E home take the creep wave back to safety. He's gonna have a TP up top by HYM. He'll lead this mid lane as the one. The one. Wanting CTY to get the levels in this matchup. Very important. She has the uh, arcane orb online. It's gonna be very nice to harass the people. As it stands, this drills enough. 
keep back this Terra Blade, making it very hard for KP to find all the farm that he hopes for. Now, Freyam was coming in from h -Prime up top, but Flea's able to find him. Bullies the Shadow Shaman away, back to his half of the map. Kepi's doing all right. Support back up, making that lane very even in mid. 10 for 2, 9 for 4 between the two of them. I guess that is one of the pluses with the, the Quelling Blade and the Stowers. Very nice to CS with the Terra Blade. Definitely, definitely one of my favorite heroes to, to hit the freeze with. Very nice. And simple attack animation. HYM's back in mid. Blast trying to keep KP back. KP will salve himself all the way back up. Bottom lane, Snake King. For a bit of a chase down onto old chickens. Take quite a lot of damage in response, so Snake's gonna have to back away. He's got the Tranquils and Tango, so should be able to regen back up. Keep himself in. Mid lane, three, add him forward. Again, just trying to use these, these illusions don't really do much at this stage of the game. Interesting that he did decide to take the point reflection there. I mean, at the same time, I guess, summoning illusions of this lane for, of himself is not going to do too much against it. Having the higher points in the, the reflection is going to be nicer. Nothing for you. For seven. <clears throat> Again. We're going to go with a metamorphosis. That is a lot of damage. Ooh, nearly enough. <clears throat> but not quite. He'll survive. Let's drop HYM. Finds grab onto Sand King. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your first blood. It shall be noted. Can they get more? He saw Flea. He wanted to go with that DD rune. And he has got to continue to run. Faith will be there. Orbs forward closes the gap. One more touch and Flea's gone. Ehome find a second. And oh, HYM has actually got the grab onto KP. I don't know if they can get this one though. KP should be fine. We'll get back. But two kills for Ehome. Make quick movements from top to mid lane. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Bottom lane, 16 for 1 Sand King, 19 for 11 on the Razor. Rio, where's he heading? Going for a bit of the long wrap around to avoid Faith Bian. Mid lane eyes onto KP. HYM, seeing if he can get the angle to move in and close the gap. Not easy. In fact, TTY has to be careful himself. BGJ, coming in hard with the smoke movement. Where the snake King wraps around behind the tree lines, and they've got the control. Very nice smoke movement from VGJ. Getting them a very big kill. Taking down CTY, giving space for KP. Put some pressure in onto this tower now. Up top, HYM. Has his hands onto Rio. And nothing more than that. No one else to follow up. If you back into the mid lane by CTY, they did scan this out. They know that VGJ Storm are still hanging around. They're going to need more members. Radiance keep this area safe for CTY, attack. Flea. In the tree line. Trying to move CTY forward. TP coming in as well from the puck. They've got the grab onto KP. Starts to follow up as well. And that's KP blown up. Always was going to be the problem at this stage of the game for the Terra Blade. A lot of magical bursts from you. They get their hands onto him. It's almost impossible for him to escape. Was never yours. And it's in the kills looking good for Eheim. Farm as well. Slight edge for the Radiant. All lanes. Only just going the way of Eheim. Not a massive leap. And something that they can work to fire with kills like this. Taking yeah. moves and on bottom with the Epi. And they'll punish the Razor. Putting old chicken back in his place. HYM wants to soak up some XP, but he has to be careful. As he comes in range of the tombstone there, they know that the Shadow Shaman's out and down it. They may be even willing to dive him. Ready to force that Shaman back. 
PP's into the top lane. Old Chicken repositioning himself up towards here. Rio, not quite level 6. Old Chicken seeing if he can get the chase down. Hoping for the uh, passive drop. Just to be a bit closer than the KP there. A good slight and searing chains. They'll get themselves away. Bottom lane snaking. Close to the gap with the burrow strike. UGJ Stone, grab another. Kills at the moment. Radiant's bottom tower three for three. Attack. Even trading. Still, just the farm being a slight issue for BGJ. Middle lane, CTY is in trouble. He's used the Astral aggressively. I think we'll actually be able to close that gap. Get the Sand King in range or... Decide to use a reflection. Even with a reflection, probably not going to close the gap onto that OD. You can get seen attack. by the tower. Dyer's structures are fortified. Oh, they know that Snaking's here. Too white. Getting himself buried in the trees. The illusion metamorphosized push coming through from KP. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. Stop this one. There's a slight change. Have the Shaman, HYM's gone. Two so toes down. His rock model chicken will be counted. We have a wraparound. I mean, what? Well, Eon in a bit of an awkward position. Uh, they, they sort of started to come back from the back, but it was only two of them. And with that, they are going to lose CTY. Oh, no. Oh, the wraparound comes back in. Look for the return because they did lose CTY. They're trying to fight back into BGJ Storm, but still with a metamorphosis up. There's no chance. Rio very low. Fabian jaunting forward, seeing if he can find the kill, but all oh, the soul rip heal. He's going to be fine. Rio gets out. Storm getting three kills. And Ehom just the two. Oh, well, they'll make it. The th Sorry, just the one. Now it's the two. They do find the second. Dyer's top tower has fallen. He's in big action for him. Find himself back up. Faith Bian actually top of the network. Dyer's middle tower and is under very attack. Very quick blink dagger. Radiant are scanning. Ten minutes in blink dagger on plug. There he is, ready to play. Straight in onto stanking. That's a solo kill. Faith beyond. <laughs> ready to style on some fools with this blink. Looking at it. And he may just have it with the green foil. Faith Bian and his puck, ladies and gentlemen. Easy double kill. 6 0 1. 10 minute blink. Doing wonders. Dyer's middle tower Magical man. Under attack. In lane. Quick X onto snaking. Chance for the sandstorm and he'll be fine. He can come through, forcing Ehon to back up. And when I have all eyes on faith, the way that he's playing. Three K lead for, uh, but yeah, I'm off the back. And this puck, this puck is carrying. I'm not surprised we've seen a few Faith Beyond fans in chat. Now he's got a bit of a legacy that he's created with that run at TI and now the ways in here on E-Home, he's looking pretty good. The tombstone, ready to go in onto White. And that will be the Ogre deck. Going to get this tier one tower as well. Why is our pucky? is at the side. They want to try and fight. He jumps in. Oh, he's got the three man dream coil. Faith Beyond setting up for the burst. They've taken down KP. Epicenter comes out in time though for snaking. And they will be able to punish them in return. Getting both the shaman and the razor. That's a support and a razor. Oh, and, oh he tries to go back in Faith. Hold it. Hold Faith. Well played comes out from KP for the BM. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Both Bian were going to say it was good for you, and they got both of the cores. But they did end up losing both of their own cores and the support. Dyer's top tower it looks is under almost attack. perfect, but the fact that the Sand King was, was able to get out his uh, epicenter changed everything. Dyer's middle tower is under attack.
Lens <laughs> And we're seeing on Snake King. Depression. Interesting. Okay. So he had it. Uh, great timing on the blink as we saw at the back of that fight. Oh, I mean, this is. The offlaners came to carry this game. <laughs> Highest net worth on e -home. That's both Bian. Highest net worth on VGJ Storm is Snaking. A game of the offlane, as it seems. Faith Beyond versus Snaking. Name a better sort of. Well, anime duo is the saying, isn't it? But this is more of an anime rivalry. Dyer's structures are fortified. Oh, Faith. Sees an opportunity. Go get it. Tower as well, hey, you hope. Rio. The magic build, of course. Veil. I wonder if we would have sort of seen some. We, start, we were starting to see Ember Valkyrie get a bit of play. Uh, sort of before, what, the 707. Now, with the change to Battle Fury, I sort of wondered if we'd see it more, but. Not the case. Tanking. The TP out. Oh, he makes it. He makes it. CTY, he's got his force. And uh, he's back up at the top now. So we'll see all three top on e -home. 2k lead. e -home do have it. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. this. Oh, and out he goes. Looking to chase a little bit. Old chicken in the mid lane. He's got his herd. Very good. This Any sort of... Radiance top tower. Is under KP the only one you're really worrying about as the game goes on, but... KP's still needing a lot of time to get big and sorry. I missed the kit. Bottom lane. Get the grab onto the Amber Spirit. Rio's down. Dyer's bottom tower under attack. Dyer's structure. Fortification fortified. comes out for VGJ Storm. And uh, they're heading over. Tanking. Why? Fire Blast, the whole back feeling they actually pop down the uh pop down the Shaman Wars for this one. I doubt that was necessarily Dyer's necessary. Hey ho. Hey. So this has been denied. Jaunt in and a jump out. Faith Bian. Nearly having the Veil of Disco. And with their lineup with that with all Veil is got a lot of issues. If they can find KP at the moment, KP's pretty much just been sitting in his jungle. Faith is placed B, he's got the Yasha complete. Slowly but surely. Farming up without any sort of interruption from him. Dyer's top tower is under attack. So well, they can get down bottom. Dan King is snaking. Smokes up. Eyes on to Y, please. Heading over, they get the jump in. Borrow strike, ice blast. That'll be the ogre surely to fall. You'll see Faith Bian try and react. Jumps in with a two man dream call. He gets the snap off the SK. Flea's in trouble as well. Well, that should be a buyback from the Sand King. Flea will escape Faith Bian. Able to phase shift to dodge some of the damage, but it's not going to be enough. He still falls. So they can chase for more now. They're riding off the buyback of the Sand King. Snake King will find the sum of HYM. They're not done yet, VGJ Storm. They've found three. They're looking for the fourth. Old Chicken. Desperately trying to run himself away. Now he's got the blink back up. He could dive for this and he's going to go for it. Straight in, but this is a buyback. It's going to be a dieback from Snake. Really wanted that kill on Old Chicken. Doesn't get it. And uh, will cost him his life. Be able to TP out in the side. Fight recap. So, buyback. But, uh, yeah, lots of... Hit twice as good enough in down. He had a great start. Those, those sort of financial losses not Never great to have. School, give him. I mean, his buyback pretty much. I mean, I don't, they didn't really even need it for the Shaman. Yeah. Not worth their
TTY continues to get bigger and bigger. Courier having a bit of a sleep down the mid lane as it seems now. It's back out. Radiant Pull out Hurricane Pike. Nearly that level 15. And what do we get? Ooh. I think... I've not seen many of these. 40 movement speed is good, but with the amount of spammable spells your team has, you definitely you take the 15% aura, don't you? It depends how greedy it is. So your movement speed, I mean, 40 movement speed is nice. But that boost on the aura for your whole team. But then again, maybe you can just make the argument the aura is good enough as it is. We'll see what he takes. Man. Seven, eleven. He's not spent. He's saving some of his points. Oh no, no, there we go. Okay. He's done that one. Down bottom. That sanity is saving that man from everything. Old chicken is gonna be fine. And now they're just gonna look to turn. Flea trying to run himself away. Hurricane pipe forward from City by close to the gap. They got the hex on to Rio. And BGJ Storm loses to Yeah, he leveled orb instead. Yeah, I thought so. I'm just... Yeah, okay, sorry about... Yeah, okay, and he takes the movement speed. All right, all right, all right. Makes sense. Like, I guess, yeah. 40... You, you're already what? It's already a 40% chance. I guess making it... 55% It's like, whatever. It's already, good. it's already good enough. 40 movement speed is always so good. It's always hard to make an argument against you. Gotta go fast indeed. Top. Why? Got the cat. Snaking. Snaking. Not getting out of this one. Another kill for CTY. As he is racking up the gold. 3.1k. I mean, I'll be honest, it is looking rough for the Ember. I mean, I know you guys in chat questioned it, and I, I don't blame you. Ember Spirit is just. I think it's so hard to play in this pack. This hero is. It, it, in the past, it's been in some fantastic places, but as it is, especially against the heroes that are, are very popular and favored over at the moment, so hard to play. And it's not, not only just to play, but just, just have any sort of impact with the Ember Spirit. What, what, do, what do you do this game? Who are you killing? I mean, maybe the Shaman, but even that, he's got a force. He's going to turn and hex you. And I mean, yeah, also going on the OG last pick. Very, very, very nice. And I think we saw that as well. But the way that BGGA Storm put KP mid on the Terra Blade, I think that goes to show that they, they were sort of caught out by that OG final pick. Like that threw them massively off guard. We are going to see a big wraparound comes with BGJ. Let's see what they could do. They have. The yeah, epicenter available, tombstones down. He's looking to get it built up. And he get the jump in. We'll find luck onto Chicken Bone. He's already forced back. Oh, Chicken's out of there. Now, moving in with the illusions. They do claim the life of the ogre. Rio jumping in, trying to find HYM. Quick turn with the hex. But this HYM shaman is still in trouble. Jackals won't save him. He's down. On the back of it, though, CTY and Old Chicken have come through. And they're starting to clean up big stuff. They may have lost two on EHO. BGJ's turn. They have to get themselves out of there. Oh, the reef from Faith. He was ready for that, but he doesn't have a way to cancel the TP. So Rio will get out. Lee won't be as lucky. So Sure Storm can claim two, but CTY is just cleaning up each and every time. He's level 18. He's got Blink Hurricane Pipe well on the way to BKB. They can't kill this OD. They're killing the backlash. They're killing the support, but they're not killing the cause. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Know where he is. Graham has the force. Is under attack. He won't be able to close that gap. Chicken's out of there. Bottom lane. Rio. Trying for the ogre. Realizes he had it. He can't do it underneath the nose of the raisin. CTY is a little deep here. He's out on his own. Why knows he can't play around without sanking on his own. Too elusive with the bow strike. Sounds not very easy to see. Get away. And here we go. Level 13 on your sanking. 
was looking to actually build the um, spirit vessel, but staff instead. I mean, there, there's not really any sort of big region. Is under attack. A little health that you're trying to, to shut down. Oh, that's a lot of TPs. I think not going to be able to find the grab. HYM, they know where he is. Oh, he gets the water. Oh, no, bait lowers the bait. He jumps and he silences all of them. And oh, no, this is not good for VGJ Storm. They've got to run. They've got to get out. But Faith the answer, as well as Old Chicken, with the wraparound as VGJ Storm. 13k gold lead, 23 minutes in. You're running an Ember Spirit and a Terror Blade. I don't know how you come back into this one if you are VGJ. Both the has been having a beautiful day. 10, 2, and 12 on his KDA. Faith Bian Puck. I think a lot of this down, it, it is down to the job. The, the OD final pick, having to in the minds of VGJ Storm, put the Terror Blade in the mid lane against an OD Shaman. Chances of this working out were always going to be low. And I think VGJ Storm may have realized this from the, from the end of the draft. Did you know he go for the BKB? He's feeling calm. He's feeling confident. He knows that if he could just grab a Hex, the game could be over. So Hex is out with CCY. There's a lot of intelligence. This sanity eclipse is going to absolutely hurt. VGJ Stormy. The rule of invisibility. How's the Ember looking? It's not great. He's had a tough game, Rio. He's been able to kill supports. That's been about it. That has been about it. Mid lane. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! He whiffed it. Oh, he shouldn't have done that. I mean, you could tell he knew that he wasn't going to get that kill, but he still went for it. And well, that's the sound of he's gone. <laughs> I mean, like, it's not that it matters too much. They've not been really relying on the sound of he's a clip to win fight. Still a bit of a painful one when you drop that 160 second cooldown spell. It's nothing. Feels bad. HYM. That's a freebie. They are able to beat into the supports a little bit of E Hunt. Why? They've got to get on top of the zone. If he starts to be allowed to strike for it at all in these fights, these heroes are going to get like four shots by this OD at this. They've got to get on top of them, the SK. KP is still farming. Still farming his socks off. Against all odds, KP is, is doing his best to keep up with the pace. Jump in from CT1. There's a couple of touches onto the Ember. Trying to rack up that in. Another kill for CT1. I think getting bigger and bigger, Stanking. Dropping down a ward. CTY gets his hands on him. Quick blink and a hex. Oh, would do it. Easy kills for this OD. Just man handling those squishy supports. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. And now it's time to push him for more. Onto this tier three tower. 27 minutes in. Trying to break the high ground. Faith Pian just forward. He's got the silence onto the Ember. That's Ember Spirit in 27 and 17 summed up right there. 
just bam and he's gone. Bring this over out. He's pretty tanky. Not tanky enough. He will fall. KP will be able to take him down. KP and jumps. Oh, oh, with the control. KP is gone as well. This game is surely over. GG is called back to the drawing board. I think the draft was, we can all agree, not ideal. The final pick, pick OD. Absolute one with CTY. I, I, as far as I can remember, that is it's one of CTY's heroes. In terms of, you know, he's played it quite a few times in the past. In, in comparison. But there we have it. E-Home will take the win against VGJ Storm, ladies and gentlemen.